So the recording sessions for Suspended Out of Phileon were a lot like every other Wild Heaven Wept recording experience for me. Um, and the words that come to mind are grueling and taxing. You know, as with everything, it typically starts with something channeled via the guitar or a keyboard or some vocal melody from celestial thing. I don't know where that comes from. I couldn't tell you, you know. But usually there's some emotional catalyst behind it and so forth. But from there, you know, I, I've recently been taking all of these things uh, and putting them into Guitar Pro to transcribe. Uh, so we have some sheet music uh, for other band members to learn the material easier and also because we can export MIDI. Um, and probably most important is the fact that I can develop some very basic arrangements for the other instruments based upon what the music's telling me to do. I created this very basic demo, so to speak. Uh, it sounded like a crappy Atari thing, ultimately. But um, from there, I exported that out uh, via MIDI to Jason, who, you know, kind of dolled things up a little bit through Logic Pro. And, uh, you know, it at least sounded like an Atari 2600. But needless to say, the whole issue with that is it's precise beyond human ability. I mean, we're talking about perfect rhythm, perfect intonation, it's just, you know, it's robotic and ridiculous. So, when I was discussing this whole album with Mark Zonder, you know, I was really emphasizing the importance of ensuring this was organic and dynamic. You know, there have been a few people too that have reached out over the years regarding the quote-unquote loudness wars, and uh, we really wanted to ensure with the production that it was also dynamic. So we did not overly compress or limit anything, you know, and even with the mastering, we only pushed it to 1970s, 1980s levels. So you may have to crank this record up a little bit more compared to some of our other albums or some of our contemporaries releases but it's certainly not going to be nearly as fatiguing as even some of our own uh, previous output. We didn't layer 13 guitars like we did on the Empire's record or Vast Ocean's Lacrimose. It's very stripped down so that you could hear the subtleties and minutia and the picking, you know, between Scott and myself and, uh, you know, uh, also there's several instances where, you know, there's a lot of things that technology affords us, you know, impossible vocal lines and things like that. But rather than rely upon those things, uh, you know, I pushed Rain to sing these parts, you know, as, you know, intensely as he possibly could to the point of running out of breath in some instances because it was important to capture that desperation. Um, and I think that's due in part to uh, being surrounded by a band of perfectionists and critiquers of the highest order. Um, you know, everything is just examined uh, from every vowel to consonants, to emotions, to delivery, to affect, um, it's looked at. And you know, and as a singer, that's incredibly frustrating because you think you're giving your all and when you're told that that's not gonna work, that's, that's not, we can get better, we can do a better take, we can come up with something better. You know, it's frustrating while you're in the midst of that. I, I know it was for me. But after the fact, you know, you're, you're driving home from the studio, you're listening to the work mixes, and it all makes sense. You know, all of the, the, the headache, uh, all of the frustration, it, it's worth it. And, and I think with Suspended Out of Phileon, um, I walked away from that project uh, feeling like, you know, I had 
done the best thing, one, that I could do, but two, the best thing that I have done for this band. Uh, so, you know, in the midst of it, it sucks, uh, but after the fact, you're happy that it happened like that because you know you did your best. I think our vision, uh, everything that we were striving to do came to fruition. So, excellent experience, uh, an excellent record for sure.